Elliot Power with us, manager of the Jersey men's FA side, recently taken over uh, the squad. How's that been? Yeah, I think it's been quite whirlwind. Obviously, uh, Martin stepping down after the Marathi, um, kind of left it in a, a real short-term position where the association made the decision. Obviously, really grateful for the opportunity from Dave and, and the JFA board. And um, yeah, I think getting getting straight onto the grass was probably the best thing that could have happened. Really, it was we didn't have much time to think about it or much time to cobble together any sort of plans. It was just roll in from what we'd done with St Peter's and and go with another eight weeks just in a different kit. So yeah, it's been really really enjoyable and uh, quite last minute, but I think that's just been another part of it, another experience. And for you, the transition from club football to island football, how easy has that been? Yeah, I think I think pretty pretty straightforward. Um, I think players are players, they, you know, they want to play as much football as possible and they want their activities to be as, as much kind of running around as possible and uh, the ball's out as much as possible. So we've tried to do that. Um, we have had to embed some principles of how we want to play. Um, I think you know the lads have really bought into that to their credit. So it's not that much different. St Peter's lads to JFA lads, standards are still high. You know, St Peter's lads' standards are high, so JFA lads maybe a little bit higher. Um, obviously, the, the quality of sessions is, is maybe the maybe the standout difference. You've got kind of the best 18 plus standby players who've been brilliant as well. All credit to Fraser, Ben, uh, Harry, Robbie, Leandro, all of the lads that have been on standby. Kieran Stevens, well, he dropped out of the squad. The lads have been on standby as well, so a really good 24, 25 man squad. So maybe the standard kind of of everyone there is is the difference really. And we know you pick the bulk of your squad comes from the Bulls. So how yeah. have the the players who haven't played with the Bulls gelled with the the Bulls players to make this island team? Really well, I think. You know, I was, one thing I was really keen to do within the squad is make sure that there are opportunities for local lads as well. Just because someone's not playing for the Bulls doesn't necessarily mean they're not good enough. Um, it might be circumstances, someone like a Paul McCafferty with a young family, you know, I've no doubt that could play for the Bulls, has played for the Bulls. Um, however, kind of personal circumstances don't allow that teacher as well, so going away from work would be quite tough for him. So, um, yeah, they've gelled really well. Look, the, there's a lot of preconceptions about this squad um, in terms of personalities and, and attitudes and actually I think when you strip it all back they're a good bunch of boys who represent Jersey really really well on and off the field and for new lads to come into it it's been a really welcoming culture for, for me and Gartz and Dave as well um, and Andy as a coaching team it's been a really welcoming culture so whatever those preconceptions are I don't think they're quite as accurate as maybe people think. And you've got some interesting opposition Gozo, Menorca and St Helena. Do you yeah. know anything about them? A uh, bit of YouTube for Gozo. Uh, Nothing for St Helena other than it's about the same population as St Mary's, so um, not an awful lot. I think we know a little bit more about Menorca. I think that's going to be the, the big litmus test for us. Um, Goes on Menorca with two tough fixtures to start with, and hopefully then fate in our own hands going into St Helena. But I think last time Jersey played Menorca around, around about six years ago, so it was a 3 3 draw. Obviously, a lot's changed since then. You've had the formation of the Bulls kind of four years ago today, I think it is, isn't it? It was on the social medias today. So. Um, Jersey football's probably moved on a little bit since then, so if it was a tight match beforehand, hopefully now we've got the upper hand, but we'll have to wait and see on, on Sunday first against Goes and then Monday against Menorca. And if you can look forward about eight to ten days' time, what would you be expecting to see as a result of this tournament? A medal, definitely a medal. I think get out of the group stage is the first and foremost kind of, uh, importance for us, really. We haven't done that the last few Island games. Um, you know, Speaking to Watto and Kerry, who are around maybe for the 2009 one, you know, I was 11 years old, so I don't particularly remember it much. Um, so I think, you know, get out of the group. We haven't had a lot of success in Ireland games recently. Get out of the group, and then when it comes to those one-off matches, I think you see in the Marathis, you saw in the Interleague Cup, you see in those big games, you know, locally especially as well, these lads step up, and they step up at big moments. So if we can get ourselves out of the group, I've got every single confidence that we can, we can go there and bring back a medal. Well, we wish you well, and so does all the population of the island. Go well. Thank you, mate. Cheers.